Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you something really cool that I'm going to be doing. As you notice, the car has been painted with brand new paint. This used to be silver. Added a couple of things. The point of this video is that I want to also bring out, repaint this portion. As you notice, the car looks great, but this looks like crap. I'm going to go ahead and show you the process that I'm going to go through. So I'm going to make this so much nicer and it's going to match the brand new paint of the car. All right, let's get started. For this car, you notice that this part, this uh, side mirror is actually interfering with this mold here. So I have to remove this mirror on both sides and also these uh, chrome uh, side things. Now here are some tapes that I'm gonna be using, some fine line. Uh, I forgot the size of this, maybe uh, uh, some blue tape. And I have this one as well that I may use. It just it depends on the situation. I'm going to be using these aerosol spray cans. Uh, I'm going to use this primer filler, use this trim black, and of course the matte clear. I remove these uh, railing things and also the mirrors on both sides and uh, scuff some of this off. I'm going to go ahead and do 400 grit on this and uh, like things like that. I'm going to have to fill that in. So if I fill it in with some putty or something or some type of putty, then I would have to prime it a little bit and then pin it. Now before you get started, uh, you want to make sure that you clean these things with isopropyl alcohol if you haven't washed your car. Uh, and then uh, a little bit of degreaser here, that way uh, it will remove any grease and any other nonsense on there. So here are the sandpapers I'm going to be using. I'll start off with 400, work, work my way up to 6 and 800. I'm going to dip these in water. I let them soak in there for a couple of minutes. I'm going to be using my sponge here. And this is 400 by the way. And as you notice, I'm removing some of that paint. Uh, you see some of that black coming off. If you see the black coming off, that means that you hit paint. You see that? Go dip it in water. All right guys, so here's some masking techniques. You have to have a certain uh, method of masking or else some little crack of uh, where you didn't mask correctly and then you're gonna have paint everywhere. This is called bad back masking. I took this off by the way, that way I can access this area. And I did the same thing with the other door. And I added these, uh, these uh, foam things. And with this type of foam tape, it's so much easier. You just tuck it in there and paint can get in. It's the best way to do it. Now I've done this part, this area right here. Okay, and I put it on top of the rubber. It's a small little rubber thing that goes here that is between the, the glass and the mold. All right, guys, there it is, all masked up, ready to go, ready for painting. Okay, and a lot of you may say, wow, this is a lot of masking. It's going to make me feel better knowing that there's no paint or no overspray that's going to get on the paint. Here we have the repair areas. There's one right there. There's another one. Kind of some kind of a little hole here so I can fix that too. Okay, so here I added the primer to the repair areas. 